Good evening. The latest on the China crisis. Chinese submarines have yet again attempted to intercept American naval forces headed for the South China Sea. Sally Jarvis is on the battle group flagship Independence. What can you tell us, Sally? Jim, this has been an extraordinary day. We have no details yet of the encounter, but we all know something major went on just 10 miles from the Independence. About three hours ago, we felt, rather than heard, this huge explosion. By chance, we had a TCN news camera team on board a Navy helicopter at the time. As you can see, that was a big explosion. What was it? No one out here seems to be ready to brief us yet, but from the looks on people's faces, I'd say it was a Chinese sub that was lost, not an American one. Jim, if anyone out there is wondering whether we're at war, the answer seems to be yes. Thank you, Sally. As this crisis turns into a hot shooting war, we are going to be getting regular contributions from a man who knows the Navy inside and out. He is former Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jeb Thomas. Admiral, it seems in the limited engagements the U.S. has had thus far with the Chinese, the Americans have come out on top. What can you tell us about how the two forces match up? Is the Chinese Navy a formidable opponent or not? Any expert in naval strategy must first examine in depth the relative strength of the two forces and then compare that with the sophistication of each force. Your opinion, Admiral, can they give us a black eye? Well, I must say no. Technology-wise, their submarines have nothing that can combat the likes of, say, the Cheyenne. If you were to describe the relative technology in terms of decades, the Chinese are in the 50s, we are in the 90s. Theirs are slow, underweaponed, and have little or no ELINT capability. ELINT? Electronic intelligence. Sensors, sonars, subsurface eavesdropping, that sort of thing. Admiral, I must interrupt you. We've been trying to get a satellite connection all day from Beijing. The Chinese government has been making it very difficult. But we finally got one. Standing by live in the Chinese capital is our David Kendall. David. Jim, the People's Liberation Army has mobilized in force to take control of the main access roads into and out of Beijing. It looks quiet here in Tiananmen Square now, but 30 minutes ago, this is what we saw. It happened suddenly, without any warning at all. Given the fact that there have been no public demonstrations to put down, this may very well be a sign that the power struggle here has entered a new phase. This does not bear the signature of the man Deng wanted to be his successor, Zheng Zemin. Instead, it may be an indication that a more militant, hardline faction, perhaps led by Li Peng, is on top now. And that would be very bad news for the United States of America. As you can see, we've uh, lost our satellite link with Beijing there. I'm joined now by Dr. Adrian Mann, our expert commentator on China. Dr. Mann, I remember when I was reporting from Tiananmen Square in 1989. We lost our satellite link then, and it was no accident. Well, Jim, the Chinese authorities take a very dim view of foreigners commenting adversely on internal Chinese affairs. And I fear that this is also a case of them deliberately cutting your link with China. We must hope our colleague David Kendall and his crew are still safe. Momentous events are stirring in that great land, and they bode ill for the safety of the world. To our friends and colleagues caught up in them, we say, Godspeed. Good evening, and welcome back to Let's Play Tom Clancy's SSN. Uh, in this mission, the Chinese submarines have established a temporary base at a reef nearby, so we are to proceed to the launch basket and release Tomahawk missiles. Uh, we got ourselves an allied uh, SSN over here. We got ourselves Los Angeles. I have no idea which one it is, but we have an LA to our starboard. <clears throat> now, this mission is going to be hard. We are going to be seeing new platforms that we have not seen before. And they will be much more challenging sir. than these Hans that we're used to. <clears throat> so I think 500 feet. Here we just have to we just have to get to the uh, next waypoint, and then the next one we actually do have to like kill this. I think you technically have to kill this other even though it just has patrol. But what I was saying before. Uh, so once we get to the launch basket, we are just to release our tomahawks. We don't do any guidance or anything. 
Which will there's Seahawks up there that will guide them in. So we just launch them and get the hell out of there, like uh, like no one's business. 300 feet. So that part will be good, and we're gonna make sure we want to clean out that area really really quickly before we launch those tomahawks because I don't know if they really. I don't know if they have missile transients and um, dangerous waters that they're doing here, and they will hear us and they will feet. shoot us. <laughs> so just uh, get up to periscope depth, comms depth rather. Weather launch zone is looking good. I'm gonna see if I'm actually gonna start um, like recording those little Captain, side things and having them play. I think that would be cool, but it will be a bit of work. Sink pack fleet to Cheyenne. Proceed to the launching zone. Seahawks are standing by to guide your missiles in by remote. Keeping your eye for Chinese subs. Very well. All right, let's go. Let's go a little deep. Happen. Get beneath the layer. But yeah, I think we just reached the waypoint. It doesn't want to just proceed. I don't think there's anything really to fight at this first Half waypoint. Depth, if I remember correctly, I played the practice mission a few weeks ago. Well, not a few weeks, a few days ago. But yeah, I got to the the launch basket waypoint and feet. I managed to like emergency blow at some point because I was like uh, my crush depth had been reduced and I had positive ballast and I couldn't control my ballast Across actually so I blew layer, and then uh, Con, so new there happened to just be a surface ship up there and I crashed into guards. it and died so <laughs> that's what happened All there two -thirds it was pretty damn frustrating would have been funny to watch but alas it was just my practice file oh neutral ballast neutral ballast set I yeah, feet. so the crush depth. There's nothing special that happens in crush depth in any of these games. It's just your ship just dies. They don't actually model things <laughs> pulverizing or telescoping or anything like that. All right, moving on. on sonar, new contact bearing All right, we actually enter a waypoint at five Sounds knots. Like a Got ourselves a contact submarine off in the distance, pretty far from the waypoint in this one. Thirty-five miles west of Kingston Shoals, Spratly Islands. Doesn't look like we're west of any island. Looks like we're south. <laughs> Unless it's just a really small island, and I can't see it. But yeah, as you can see, we got our full spread of tomahawks still. Um, I think the button to launch those is V. I should probably know that before I actually do it. <laughs> but I don't really remember what it is. But I think it's V. Oh, I'm trying to crack my neck. Not going so well. <clears throat> but he seems to be heading right for me. I don't know if that's a coincidence or if he actually is. But I'm trying to remember if he is the only contact. I think not. I can't remember the other contact on this waypoint here. But yeah, I think I'm going to try to actually record all the voiceovers for those little things. I think that'll be cool because they are quiet. There's no voice for them. And it can be hard to sometimes remember to try and read down there. So I won't be saying any in the LP. I'll have to remember to try not to do that. Just read them. We have orders off to destroy screen. all enemy contacts before we <clears throat> sir. Okay, well, let's launch a tour bus, I suppose. He's closing that gap pretty quickly. Yeah. He's going pretty damn fast. I might actually just up to one third right. here. But I still need to figure out what's going with these torpedoes, and I'm running out of fuel, man. <laughs> I was reviewing the video I just uploaded today. I just. I got really pissed off at that shit, dude. It's funny. God, sonar, we got a funny for you guys. It's kind of frustrating for me. I just want the torps to do their damn job. Like, eight nautical miles away. Like, even their crappy torpedoes can go eight nautical miles. Oh, hello. Yeah, I wish they would have made those sprites better. I, I don't know if they kept it that way on purpose so you can see things really far off. But you can Honda's tell it's just like the sprites go up at the same speed, no matter how far away you are stuff like that. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I didn't really scale it down to range. I'll call Mr. Torp. But yeah, I'm, I'm always considered trying to, like, you know, get underneath the layer and run up close to someone. I, that's a tactic I would employ in dangerous spec, waters. But it seems for some reason whenever I pop above the layer, they can instantly hear me. Which is really just weird. I don't get it. <laughs> Even if I'm coming up at, like, three knots. <clears throat> call Mr. Torp. Okay, he's starting to head away from me now. Whew. So, uh, first week of school is over. It's actually our second week now. And uh, I'm really liking all my classes, man. I think it should be a nice 
easy semester compared to last semester at least. I had two huge group projects last semester and it you was You can bet the whole Chinese Navy knows we're here now. Why Steve? can I bet that cob? I don't know why. <laughs> it's weird. Don't know why I said that I'm going one third. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a trigger or something. I don't know. I didn't trigger anything. <clears throat> going one third. <laughs> oh come on, Torp. Come on, Torp. Do it, Daddy, do it. <laughs> Give me a hit. But yeah, my, my vehicle dynamics class is going to be so cool. Like, I'm into cars, but I don't really know if I have any desire to actually go into that in terms of professional the life. The has failed, Captain. <sighs> Son of a bitch. 2-2 two, two fired electrically. I really hate this crap so much. Like, just hit the dude. How far are we, are we from this waypoint? Pretty far. I'm starting to make progress. <clears throat> yeah, there can be a lot of this downtime going on these missions because they're like, it's not like dangerous waters and stuff to do. You're just kind of chilling. Well, I guess I should turn and actually like head for this guy. He'll close the gap a little, or help keep him from widening the gap as much. I don't know. I can't really close the gap. I, I really just. I want to go deep and flank it and get closer to this guy, but he's gonna bust a cap in my ass as soon as I get above the layer. <clears throat> and that I do not want to happen because damage is a bitch. This isn't even the hardest difficulty. This is a medium difficulty. I can't imagine what this is like on the hardest difficulty. Two, two, <clears throat> one the I noticed one of you did say I should start talking more slowly, so I will try to remember to do that. I tend to just want to get my thoughts out of my head like really quickly because <laughs> I mean when you talk fast you don't realize you're talking fast because you know what you're saying but other people don't <clears throat> so I'll try to make a conscious effort to talk slowly because I know some of you are not native English speakers got a few fans from Germany which is pretty cool <clears throat> alright what do we got you gotta hit him you gotta run out of fuel man alright he's turning so he's not really heading away from me as much anymore. That's good. And then he's too far away. Oh, I can I can see him now. Am I, is he gonna hit? Is he gonna hit? Are you gonna hit? Are you gonna run out of fuel? Make up your mind, damn it. And I don't know why these they make these Hans just like turn around at like sixteen knots. It's like you could hear it without needing sonar, man. They'd be that loud. It's a piece of crap submarines. And yeah, I did look on the wiki. There were only like five Hans made, I'm pretty sure. And one of them's decommissioned. And I've already killed at least five in this game, I Torpedo think. Torpedo has God failed, damn it. Captain. Uh, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just going to chill in this course. Head for the waypoint and head for him at the same time. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. But I'm probably not going to talk too much in this time period because there ain't going to be much going on. I'll probably cut this out. I'm trying to remember this from my practice file. I don't think this is the same. I think all all my memories are from the next waypoint because that's where shit starts to get dicey. There's all kinds of bad guys in the next waypoint, including new ones. But he's kind of just like running away from me. I guess that white line of his uh history goes away after a few seconds. Well, I am getting closer to the waypoint, a lot, close, a lot quicker than I thought I would. Well, he can't really hear All me, so I'm going to juice it up, actually. Just juice it All up up here. If he doesn't launch me, he's pretty far away. And then I can just run. I can just turn around and book ass out of here. <clears throat> if he does manage to hear me. So maybe I'll just keep it to two-thirds. All thirds. ahead, two-thirds, I. Full's pretty fast. That's 25 knots. He might be able to hear me if he slows down if I'm going 25 knots, but his speed he ain't hearing shit. But somehow he's gonna make it so he can't hear shit. Is he turning to bears or he's just turning around on a coincidence? I don't know. Don't know. I wanna conserve torps because there's gonna be tons of subs. But uh Is course changing? Yeah. He does appear to be heading for me. So I will slow down. 
I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll launch torp. See how I like that dude, seven nautical miles and closing fast. Six point five nautical miles and closing fast. We're actually closing at thirty two knots. Just about. There might be some trigonometry going on there, but it's such a shallow angle, the coastline's still around ninety seven percent or something probably. Alright, let's get a little bit of propulsion here. One third. All ahead one third. Yeah, he's definitely heading for me. So I might actually uh, <laughs> head this way. In an attempt to keep him from getting in range of me to launch his weapons, because he's going to launch soon. <coughs> Thirsty, sorry. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water range. Yeah, we got some really shallow terrain. Fish in the water, oh my god. Let's get out of here. All ahead flying, guys. Crash dive. Make your depth something deep. I don't know, 1200. Two, flooded and ready, no respects, Captain. Flood the tanks, all right. Oh, he just did something too. Passing he just went up or he went down. I don't know. God damn it! Now I'm going to reacquire his ass. Launch countermeasures on it. Countermeasures away. Rudder midships. Passing 600 feet. So. Yeah, we're really going down pretty damn fast. Neutral buoyancy. <coughs> All right, so full rudder. rudder. Level on the planes. Passing 800 feet, Captain. Down, down, keep down, keep down, right here, keep down, 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 I don't want him to hear me. No, we just did a full circle. <laughs> cool. But yeah, when you got your rudder full over, you really don't pick up that Bunch much speed. So it can be annoying. Alright, let's uh, Set positive buoyancy. Positive buoyancy is biatch. Let's go shallow. Meet him up there. He's probably, as soon as I get up there, he's gonna just. Mm. Oh my ass, man. Passing down her. So feet, maybe we should go off to the left, kind of, because he was the last time. Oh, well, let's just chill. Let's see if he actually drives over us. Let's go back to our previous course. Feet rising, Captain. A la Crazy Ivan. He might drive over us, so let's uh, chill. 700 feet, Captain. Let's just keep heading for the waypoint and see if he drives over us. I'm gonna need to be bleed now some oh, well, neutral buoyancy. Set neutral balance to high. I need to try and bleed some speed because it's gonna shatter if I launch this fast. 500 feet. Oh, I hear something. Con sonar, new contact bearing three. Oh, there he is. That's what I'm hearing. It's the <laughs> I heard it before. So on the sonar, that's actually pretty cool. Fire. Two, four, five. Probably watching my ass flank it. All head flank, guy. Con sonar, countermeasures. Uh, uh, he just launched a countermeasure. Don't go for it. Yeah. Alright, get out of there. He's gonna crash into you. Alright, right full water, come back the other way. Damn, man, I gotta remember to keep doing that. Like, uh. Just stay on the current course because they tend to come right for you and then you can catch them when the thermic when you get really close together. Jeez, man, he's really close. Yeah, I'm just gonna flank it to this waypoint so we can move on and get on with it already. Because the next waypoint is probably going to take up at least half of this total mission Passing time. Feet. If not the bulk majority, like two thirds maybe. It's going to take up a long time. I'm not going to be doing anything silly like this, flanking around. Alright, well, if nothing happens, then I'll meet you there. Two, four, flooded and ready, no respects, Captain. 